Sutra, but then they need a non knowledgeable guide skilled in avoiding all the potential harm, including the toxins of the yakshas and others. This mentor begins to lead the travelers off the dangerous path, saying, Beware, everyone. What business has brought you onto this road? What kinds of special skills do you have to avoid all those dangers? Hearing that, the confused travelers realize that they are on a dangerous path and turn back, attempting to escape. The kind guide then tells them to join hands, takes them by the hand, leads them off the dangerous path and helps them avoid the deathly peril. When they reach a safe road, the travelers are relieved and calm down. Their guide then says to them, Take care, confused ones, never to get back on that path again. Once on it, it is hard to get off. It can destroy a person's very nature and life. The travelers who had been lost, confused, express their deep gratitude, and as they are about to part, the mentor says to them, if you see those dear to you and any other travelers, whether you know them personally or not, be they men or women, tell them that the dangers and the evils on their path will destroy their very natures and lives. Do not allow them to unwittingly bring about their own death. Commentary But then, they need a knowledgeable guide. A good teacher. Who is he? He is a, a story sabha. He is skilled in lots of magic because of his finely wondrous and inconceivable wisdom through spiritual powers. He is good at avoiding all the potential harm, the odd kind of harm, all the harms that tigers, wolves, lions, yakshas, and their like can do including the toxins of the yakshas and others. Yakshas are speedy ghosts who are very evil. This mentor begins to lead the lost travelers off the dangerous path, saying, Beware, everyone. Hey guys, what business has brought you onto this road? Why are you on this dangerous road? What kinds of special skills do you have to avoid all those dangers? Do you have any spiritual powers that can subdue all the tigers, wolves, and lions on this road? Hearing that, the confused travelers are extremely shocked and realize that they are on a dangerous path and turn back, attempting to escape. Only then did they realize that they made a mistake and walked down the wrong road. They want to back up immediately and leave this path of danger. The kind guide, Alastobody Sattva, then tells them to join hands, takes them by the hand, leads them off, or pulls them off the dangerous path, and helps them avoid the deadly peril. They get to avoid all the dangerous creatures, such as tigers, wolves, and lions, yakshas, serpents, and vipers. When they leave the three evil paths and reach the safe road, the travelers are relieved and calm down. Their guide then says to them, the previously lost travelers, take care, confused ones, lost individuals, never to get back on that path again, the three evil paths. Once on it, it is hard to get off. People who enter the three evil paths do not live easily. It can destroy a person's very life. Someone walking on this path of danger will lose his life. The travelers who have been confused, lost, express their deep gratitude. Having heard such instructions from such a good teacher, a stubborn sattva, they are very grateful and think, This person is really very good to me. And as they are about to part, the mentor says to them, If you see those dear to you and any other travelers, whether you know them personally or not, be they men or women, tell them that the dangers and evils on their path, that is the three evil paths, could destroy their very natures and lives. 
do not allow them to unwittingly bring about their own deaths by walking on to the three evil paths and suffer endlessly. Sutra In the same way, a strong bodhisattva replete with great compassion rescues beings who are suffering for their offenses and enables them to be born among humans and gods where they enjoy wonderful bliss. Once those offenders are released from the suffering they experienced on the paths where their karma took them, they must never go down those roads again. They are like the lost pupil who mistakenly took a dangerous path and were led to safety by a kind mentor. They know how to never take that route again. Moreover, they exhaust others not to get on the road by saying, We took the road ourselves when we got confused, but we escaped and now we know better than to ever get on that road again. If we were to set foot on it again, we would get confused and be unable to recognize it as the dangerous path we took before. That being the case, we might lose our lives. The same holds true for falling into the bad destinies. Due to the powerful expanding means of a stubborn sattva, beings can be freed and gain rebirth as humans and gods if they were then to turn around and enter into the bad destinies again. Those with their heavy karmic bonds might remain in their hells forever with no chance at escape. Commentary In the same way, for these reasons, a story sat by replete with vast and boundless great kindness that bestows joy and compassion that uproots suffering, like a wise teacher rescues all beings who are suffering for their offenses and enables them to be born among humans and gods where they leave the suffering of the three evil paths and enjoy wonderful bliss in the human realm of the heavens or the heavens. Once those offenders are released from the suffering they experienced on the three evil paths where all their offense karma took them, they must never go down those roads again. They should never want to fall into the three evil paths. They are like the lost people mentioned earlier who mistakenly took a dangerous path and were led to safety by a kind and spiritually powerful mentor. They know how they know now to never take that dangerous road again. Moreover, they exhort others not to get on that road to the three evil realms by saying, We mistakenly took that dangerous road ourselves. When we got confused, but we escaped, liberated from the path of danger, and now we know better than to ever cross, get on that road to the three evil realms again. If we were to set foot on it again, we would get confused, lost, and not be able to get out, and we would be unable to recognize it as the dangerous path we took before. That being the case, we might lose our lives. The same holds true for falling into the bad destinies. Due to the powerful expanded means and magical powers of wisdom of a stubborn sattva, beings can be freed and gain rebirth as humans or gods if they were then to turn around and enter into the bad destinies again. Those with heavy karmic bonds from evil acts might remain in their hells forever with no chance of escape unable to leave a suffering and attain bliss. Sutra At that time, the ghost king evil poison placed his palms together respectfully, addressed the Buddha and said, World honored one, each of us Kali's ghost kings of Jamuvipa bestows benefit and inflicts harm upon beings differently. However, karmic retribution is Cause those in my retinue to travel the world doing to do more evil than good. Nonetheless, when we pass by a household, a city, a town, a garden, a cottage, or a hut where there are men or women who have contributed as little as a has worth a few days, even if they have hung up but one banner or one canopy, 
use the little incense or a few flowers as offerings to images of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas, recite the Sakya Sutras or burn the incense as an offering to even one sentence or gather in the three ghost kings we respect such people as we hope the Buddhas of the past, present and future. We will instruct the smaller ghosts, each of whom has great power, as well as the earth spirits, to protect such people. Bad situations, accidents, severe or unexpected illnesses, and all other unwelcome events will not even come near their residences, or other places where they may be much less enter the door. Commentary At that time, the ghost king is a poison, a most precious and mean ghost king who specializes in dealing with evil and vicious people arrived before the Buddha, which leaves him no longer evil or vicious. He placed his palms together respectfully, addressed the Buddha and said, World honored one, each of us carries ghost kings of Sadhu Yabhuvipa, bestows benefit or inflicts harm upon beings differently. There are countless ghost kings in one world, not to mention that there are countless worlds, thus rendering the number of ghost kings countless. Each ghost king governs over different things. Some govern over those who hurt people, while some govern over those who plan to benefit people. How come there are ghost kings who hurt people? and ghost kings who help people. Those who hurt people subdue bad people. Those who benefit others help good people. However, karmic retributions cause those inheriting it to travel the world doing more evil than good. Why are ghost kings in the occupation they are in? It is because of their past karma. The retinues of us ghosts who go about different paths of the world are most evil, more are evil, and uh, fewer are good. Although they are more evil than good, nonetheless, when you pass by a household, a big city, a small town, or a tiny village, a garden, a cottage, or a hut where there are men or women who have cultivated as little as a uh, hand's worth uh, for good deeds, even if they have hung up but one banner or one jeweled canopy, used a, a little incense or a few flowers uh, as offerings to images of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas, recited the sacred sutras uh, such as the Suragama Sutra, the Dhamma Flower Sutra, the Avatamsaka Sutra, the Vada Sutra, and other Mahayana Sutras or burnt incense as an offering to even one sentence in a sutra, or a gatha, i.e. a verse in the We ghost kings, every one of us, we respect such people as we would the Buddhas of the past, present, and future. We will instruct the smaller ghosts, though considered small, each of whom has great power as well as the earth spirits. To protect such people, bad situations are situations that go against our wishes, such as a house caught on fire or some accident without reason. Accidents that occur unexpectedly, such as plane crashes or train derailments, severe or unexpected illnesses that never quite kill us and subdue one set of illness that leads to death in possibly less than an hour, and all other unwelcome, unpleasing, or inauspicious events will not even come near their residences or other places where they may be much less enter the door. How could these bad situations, accidents, severe illnesses, and sudden onesets of death reach a certain individual's home? The ghosts are there to protect, ensuring that everything is auspicious. Why is everything auspicious for them? By making offerings to the Triple Jewel, cultivating or and doing good adverse events to not reach their houses. 
Sutra, the Buddha praised the Ghost Kings. Excellent, excellent. That all of you Ghost Kings join Lord Brahma in protecting good men and women in that way. I shall tell Lord Brahma and Lord Chakra to make sure that you are protected as well. When that was said, a Ghost King in the same lake, Lord of Life, said to the Buddha, World honored one, my karmic conditions are such that I have a jurisdiction over the lifespans of people in Jagupipa. Gather me the time of both their births and their deaths. My fundamental vow, fundamental vows are based on a great desire to benefit them, but people do not understand my intent and go through birth and death in distress. Why is that? When women in Jagupipa have just given birth to children, be they boys or girls, or when they are just about to give birth, good deeds should be done to increase the benefits of the household, thus causing the local earth spirits to be immeasurably pleased. The spirits will then protect the mother and child so that they experience peace and happiness and will bring benefit to the entire family. After the birth, all killing and injuring for the purpose of offering the fresh meat to the mother should be carefully avoided, as it should parties that include drinking alcohol, eating meat, singing and playing musical instruments. All those things can keep the mother and child from being peaceful and happy. Commentary the Buddha praised the ghost king's evil poison. Excellent, excellent that all of you ghost kings join Lord Brahma in protecting good men and women in that way. I shall tell great Lord Brahma and Lord Chakra of the heaven of 33 to make sure that you are protected as well. When that was said by Shakyamuni Buddha, Another ghost king in the assembly, named Lord of Life, who controls human lifespans, said to the Buddha, World honored one, my karmic conditions are such that I have a jurisdiction, jurisdiction over the lifespans of people in Jagupipa, governing the time of both their births and their deaths. I am in charge of lands of life. My fundamental vows are based on a great desire to benefit them, but people do not understand my intent and go through birth and death in distress. Why is that? When women in Southern Jambu Vipa have just given birth to children, be they boys or girls, or when they are just about to give birth, good deeds that benefit people should be done to increase the benefits of the household. Doing good deeds brings about an auspicious light which protects you. Having created good deeds and benefits that help the household, thus causing the local earth spirits to be immeasurably pleased. The spirits will then protect the mother and child so that they experience peace and happiness and will bring benefit to the entire family. After the birth, remember not to kill any being or killing and injuring for the purpose of offering fresh meat such as chicken, duck or fish or bring some delicious food so the mother who just gave birth should be carefully avoided as should parties that include drinking alcohol, eating meat, singing and playing musical instruments such as violins or flutes. All those things can keep the mother and tried from being peaceful and happy.